Hi, I'm naturalist Jenny, reporting in for Shawnee State Park. Have you ever been digging around in the leaves in your own backyard in the fall and found one of these most spe spectacular little caterpillars? I bet you have, and I bet you, you even know the name of this little furry critter. Most people around here call it a woolly worm or a woolly bear, but it's also been called the hedgehog caterpillar because it curls up in a ball and exposes its little spines or little fine furs called setae uh, when it's encountered. And this caterpillar here is really probably the most well-known caterpillar in all of North America, found all across from Southern Canada all the, all the way down into Mexico. And it's known to be a predictor of the winter to come. It's said that the longer the red bar between the black end and head, the more mild the winter we will have, which could be somewhat true. There's, a, there's always something to the old wives' tales we hear. You would think that the black coloration would absorb sun and get the caterpillar warm. Um, so maybe there's some truth to it. But the real truth of the matter is the woolly bear caterpillar who overwinters as a caterpillar can actually freeze and thaw. And when they wake up in the first warm spring day, they get to feeding again on the little weeds that they eat in the lawn, some grasses and plantain and dandelions, and then they finish their growing cycle. So right now, this little woolly bear caterpillar is not fully grown. And each caterpillar has instars, which means they shed their skin up to six times. This guy sheds six times. And each time this caterpillar sheds, its red band gets a little bit longer. And so that is really the indication on the, the length of the red band is how well it ate and how much it grew over the season. So it's not completely an adult yet. It's going to overwinter as a caterpillar, freeze and thaw, which is an amazing thing. It gets this like natural organic antifreeze called glycerol in its in its system that allows it to actually thaw back out and um, continue its life cycle and complete its metamorphosis. So this is a really cool and famous caterpillar. There's even some festivals. There's one in Ohio and Vermilion called the Woolly Bear Festival. That's the largest one day festival in the whole state. And so maybe next October we can all go to the Woolly Bear Festival in Vermilion up on Lake Erie and stay in one of our state parks. I know Finley State Park is close by and check out the Woolly Bear Festival and learn more about the Woolly Bear Caterpillar. One of my favorite little fall findings. Have a great day!